It's our favorite time of the week again. Time for hashtag Rising Cues, where we answer your questions. Let's throw the first one up on the screen. Take it away, Sagar. Okay, number one from Figarino. There were big progressive wins, but with only seven to eight progressive people in Congress, will it really make a dent? Also, considering how AOC has been co-opted by Mama Bear Pelosi and mm -hmm. is playing ball with the establishment, will the same happen to new people? I mean, we talked a lot about this. Um, on the show, and I think that it's a rightful concern. And it's not just AOC, by the way. This is also on the Republican side. You have this new 24-year-old Madison Cawthorn, right? I mean, what's going to happen is Madison will win. He's going to get a call from Kevin McCarthy or from any of the GOP leadership. They go, hey, we've got your whole staff picked out for you. You don't even have to do anything. you got to have an entire infrastructure ready to go. you got to have your thoughts for yourself. Otherwise, it's the easiest thing in the world to just show up, take cues. And even if you are somebody who wants to challenge power, they have millions of different ways. You don't get the committee assignment. You don't get this. Nobody talks to you in the hallway. That stuff really matters. It takes a toll on your psyche. So it does. It's something you should watch out for. No, it's true. I mean, look, I don't think you should count on anyone here. I'm mm -hmm. incredibly encouraged by Jamal Bowman's victory, by some of the, the wins and the shifts to the left that we saw in these elections. And I think it will help um, to have those sympathetic voices there, those people, and this is part of it too, who won without getting any help from the establishment. So they don't owe anyone anything coming in. But ultimately, no, you shouldn't rely on them. It has, That pressure has to come from the outside. Yeah. It's really the only way that anything ever changes. So if you have that pressure from the outside and you have some people who are somewhat sympathetic, who you can push in your direction, that's the only way anything ever actually gets done. I think that's right. All right. All right, second question. Sagar, you've mm. voiced your opposition Medicare for All, yet you've also acknowledged the moral deficiencies with the current American health care system. I am curious what your vision for health care is like and what steps you would take to get there. Yeah, it's an interesting question. It's something I actually think about a lot. And I think what it is, is I've talked to you about, which is that I think that so much of the deficiencies in the American health care system, I guess what it is, is I'm not willing to give up entirely yet. And the reason why is, A, the infrastructure, and it's not even just the cost, it's more about some of the problems that can come from government-run health care, which is I think the chief problem in the health care system is the hospitals mm -hmm. and this marriage of the hospital system with the pharmaceutical lobby and everybody else. And I think that those people are truly the consolidation within that is that what has jacked the prices up, you know, Obamacare actually made it so that consolidation was a better business proposition for a lot of these people, and then they can bilk the government. I mean, we've talked here about throwing in nursing home patients out because of Medicaid and yeah. Medicare reimbursements yeah. and many of those other things. So it's you terrible. can actually physically change the entire American healthcare system without nationalizing it by just changing the way that the hospital industry works and in terms of regulating price controls and many of these other things. I mean, think about like Medicare Part D and the pharmaceutical industry, which is that Medicare, the large, largest buyer, I think, of pharmaceuticals in America, can't negotiate prices with drug companies. I mean, does that make any sense? You can do that in Canada, you can do that everywhere else. It's just that there are the tweaks like this which can actually take care of what 60, 70 percent of healthcare inflation cost. So if you can do that, I mean, then you don't necessarily have to nationalize the entire system, and you can make it so that healthcare is literally readily available for all. So look, I mean, I think everybody should have coverage. I think it's just about how you get there. Yeah. Yeah. You guys know what I think on yeah, that issue. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right. Number third two. question. What have we got? All right, the behavior that Elizabeth Warren displayed, and she didn't even endorse Bernie Sanders. It is surprising to you that she's been endorsing progressives. Do you think that her motivation is to think that she can win back the left in order to get Biden elected? Huh. Crystal? Um, I don't. I think she's just a cynical political actor. Because at the same time that she endorsed some progressives, mm -hmm. she also endorsed John Hickenlooper. Right. Just Obviously, like, at Schumer's request. Too, uh, right? Schumer yeah. and Biden were yeah. like, this is our guy. You got to get in there for him. And she's like, yes, please, because I want to be vice president, which right. is never going to happen, by the way. So um, I shouldn't say never. You never know. <laughs> it's but possible. I, I think it's highly unlikely. But yeah, so I just see her as cynically calculating. She wants to maintain her like lefty cred because I think that also she thinks helps her in the vice presidential fight because it gives her a more credible claim to make that she can help unify the party. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, she wants to be a player in the game and, and be a team player with the Democratic establishment. So when they call and say it's really important for us to for you to get in behind John Hickenlooper, who's been terrible on every issue you claim to care about, she's like, okay, no problem. Yeah, I think that's right. All right. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Have a fantastic day. See you guys.